<laughs> Welcome back to Season 3 World Championships, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up, it's our second quarterfinal fight between Royal Club and OMG. But right now, I was almost locked. I was, I was almost doomed, ladies and gentlemen. It's Evil Genius' Snoopy. He was staring me down. I was worried. Well, to be fair, you actually caught a second win. Like, he came in halfway through and started staring at me, so that's a bit of cheating, to be honest. No, I, I did you, man. I outstared you. I so. have these guys as backup in the audience. <laughs> but they watched some of it, and you were just cheating. So you've been here for pretty much the whole time. Uh, you, what were your takes on the group stages? Did the teams that got through, were you expecting that from, the say, the outset when we had the regionals back in Europe? Oh, definitely not, actually. I didn't, I mean, I thought Fnatic were a good team, but I didn't expect them to come out so strong. Like, I, we played them for the entire split, for example, at Gamescom. And up until Gamescom, they were like, they were a good team, but they weren't like standards, like leagues above anyone else. And then following, I don't know what they did between Gamescom until Worlds, but they must have practiced hard. And they said they did, so, and it definitely shows they're doing really, really well at this tournament. And obviously they've got through to the semi-finals now. Do you think they've got it in them to go all the way? And do you think, obviously, the other teams, we've just seen SKT, T1 going through, OMG Royal coming up as well. We've already got Najin Sword in there. Do you think anyone out there that could possibly stop them? I think it's, it's still up in the air. I don't think anyone's, like, a clear winner right now. Um, I think OMG had a really solid performance through groups, but everyone thinks that Royal's going to do what they did before and then stop OMG in their tracks again. Are they going to do that? We'll find out. Um, I think Fnatic's, they've got a little bit of momentum behind them right now, but they're mm. not getting too confident. They're very down to earth and they realize that there's still a long way to go before they're actually in the finals. So I think they're down to earth about it, yeah. And has there been any players here that have caught your eye and you just thought, wow, I, I wasn't expecting him to play like that or somebody that surprised you that previously to this tournament you just, I mean, there's a lot of great players here, let's not go, but anyone that's completely surprised you? I would say like, obviously like Faker's an exceptional player and mm. everyone has the, the, the Faker hype train, but Putsu or P Pushu? Pushu, yeah, Pushu? we've yeah. been calling him Pushu. Yeah, so I think he actually, stood up above quite a lot of people for me. Um, I think he had a fantastic performance. He kind of was in the shadow of Reckles throughout the entire, entire split from yeah. in, back in Europe. But coming out here, he actually proved himself on an international stage. And I think he very much deserves his like, position in the team. He's a solid player and been really solid games. And I think he's actually one of the guys that was carrying Fnatic. Not, not exactly only PK, to be honest. <laughs> and if you had to put your money down, who would you put down as the team that's going to win this? Win everything? I'll have to stay with my, my home crowd in Europe, so I'm going to go, I'm going to go Fnatic. And uh, I really think those guys can take it. I'm glad the crowd appreciates that as well. And final question, obviously, you're a player yourself. How does it feel to be here and not taking part in this awesome Season 3 World Championships? It absolutely sucks. It's still too soon, Lee. It's still too soon. <laughs> um, actually, it's the same thing last year when we got to the semi-finals as yeah. well. And it was me, I was in Gambit there. And then we went to the Galen Center and we were in seeing TPA and Frost play last year. It was the same kind of feeling when you're sitting there and you're not on that stage and you came so close. Same thing here. We came so close to being here at grip stages and we just didn't quite make it. But what can you do? Yeah, we're exactly the same, unfortunately, for Crepo and Double Lift who are back there and have said exactly the same things. Thank you very much for uh, the discussion. So let's send it over to the guys at that desk and see how exactly they feel about SKT.